Joining me now from Doha is Phil Rees, the manager of Al Jazeera's investigations unit. Uh, so tell us a bit more about the role of this Israeli in that particular uh, affair. It's quite intriguing stuff. Well, it's intriguing and it gives us the kind of glimpse into intelligent machinations that uh, we rarely actually get. It's a very murky world. And one of two things actually happened. Either this was a Mossad operation to steal the documents in the first place, the, the, the blueprints, and they used this Israeli citizen to do that, or the Israeli citizen was involved in the theft in the first place and tried to sell them on to Mossad. We don't know that from the documents we've seen. I mean, all we do know, as we heard in Will Jordan's report, of course, is that Mossad had the documents and the South Africans were desperate to get them back. And just to go back to the, the, the first story we, we, we talked about there, it's perhaps not surprising uh, that politicians don't always sing the same songs as, as the service, security service. I mean, they might be briefed in one way by the security services and say something completely different. Is that particularly astonishing to find a politician going against what their security service is saying? Well, I think it's quite remarkable that a security service would tell other agencies around the world effectively not to believe their own prime minister. Um, I think that's quite striking. Now, we knew reports had come over during the time that uh, uh, the various spy masters in uh, Israel were worried by Netanyahu's talk of war with Iran. But I think this puts it down in black and white that they essentially, perhaps stopping a little short of this by calling him a liar, perhaps that's not the right word, but not very far from that. And what more can we expect from these uh, series of investigations? What, what have you got up your sleeve? Can you give us a hint? Well, yes, over the next three days, OK, we'll be publishing over 600 pages of secret and top secret documents from agencies around the world. And they are what is called human intelligence. And unlike what, for example, Edward Snowden um, published, which was to do with um, intelligence of eavesdropping and you know, high security um, material that comes through modern technology, what you've got is the human factor. You've got people dealing with each other at ground level. And I think that's what makes this very fascinating. OK, thank you very much indeed, uh, Phil Reese, for talking to us.